How the heck are we at another year? Anyone want to explain to me how it's almost 2023? And if you're watching this and it is 2023, congratulations, you've transported into the future and you're looking at the past. That's how videos in the internet work. And in today's video, I'm going to show you a quick goal setup that will help you improve what you are hoping to have out of your 2023. Now, we know a lot of the times I say template from a Notion perspective, but in this video, I'm going to just use Notion as a way to give you a formula for success on how to actually improve your day to day in 2023. And a lot of it is going to be utilizing concepts I've learned from books like Atomic Habits by James Clear and other very input based goals. So if I go here into a new page, I'm going to make a goal template that is going to be changed to full width. I'm going to divide the columns in two, and I'm going to make a little call out box for this section, which is going to be goal setting. So let's do a little chart goal setting, duplicate this guy, put another section here, call this section breakdown. So what we're going to do here is we're going to make a new database. It's just going to be called goals. You can put a little emoji in there if you want. You know, I love those black and white emojis. I'm going to hide this really quick. And the concept that I'm going to use here is essentially taking input based goals in order to achieve what you want. So we're going to work kind of back and forth within this. So let's open up this as an example and let's make a new text property. We're just going to call it what to achieve. So let's say I want to reach 250,000 views per month. When do you want to achieve it by? Let's do a little date property. So we have our what our when, and we're going to put an input based one. We're going to call, call this number how many. And then we're going to duplicate this. We're going to rename this to a text property. And you can obviously do some of these text properties within the page, but I'll just write a short description for how post daily on YouTube. So for the how many, it's going to be like how many of the thing you're going to do within the year. So then we can take this formula and we can do two different breakdowns. So by month, we can do uh, actually by day, by week, by month and obviously how many is by year. So 365 is what we're gonna do. So by day, we're gonna do equals this how many divided by 365. Okay, so every video got a day. So then we're gonna do how many divided by 52. And then in order to make this easier on ourselves, we can do a little round action. We can do round right here. And then we can do how many divided by 12. And then once again, let's do a little rounding action. So something along the lines of 30 ish per month. So then obviously the what to achieve can be the title of it. I just wanted to give you the option of changing this title. So uh, in this circumstance, we also can add a little select property or if you're using my evergreen notion workspace, you can relate this to trees or branches and you can call this tree so you can do. This is going to be as productive. Then what we can do here is group this by like the tree. So like what section of our life we're talking about. So for example, then if we keep tweaking this down, we can hide these by week, by month, and when. And the when is gonna literally be just the end of 2023 as this is my goal for when I wanna achieve that. And if you want to get more specific with it, you can do when start and when end. You can do when start so that I can indicate this. And if you wanted to, you can add another property that would do a date between start and end time days so that you can sort of like take the date between when end and when start in days. So then here you can see that the difference between this is 20, 365 days. So in this circumstance, what you might have to do is add a day because that obviously doesn't work out math wise. And then with these formulas, if you want to, you can, instead of dividing it by 365, like I did, you can divide it between start and end days. And you'll see here that I could duplicate this and do start and end weeks and change this to weeks. Make sure you get rid of the plus one though, and then duplicate it again, change this to months. However, for this circumstance, you might have to add one. It's a little bit finicky because if I end up putting this to, you know, this, it'll end up being 13. So it's like, if you want to add the ones or you want to just like start it on the next month instead of having it end at the end, it's all up to you. So in this circumstance, I'm just going to showcase that you can get rid of the pluses if you just like show that, okay, by the beginning of 2024, that's when I want it to happen. So let's just get rid of these plus ones. And then by here, we can take the month numbers, put it into the month, how many, and then the same for the weeks one divided by weeks. So then now we have an automated system. So like if I put five, that means I only need to <laughs> make that many for that. And also, obviously I didn't put this in there, but you can round these as well for how many by day. So if I put 25, it's obviously going to go only show these halves. So if you want to add a 
couple decimal points to the rounding. You can actually multiply it by a number. So like 100 and then divide it by 100. You make sure that this is in here like this. So multiply it by 100 within that parentheses, then divide it by 100. You can see it adds two decimal points so that it doesn't get crazy, but it still shows you some decimal points for circumstances that mean something. Then I can call this one YouTube view goal. Give it a little indicator of this video right here. So then if you see here, if I go back to this, what I have is the name of the goal. What do I want to achieve? How am I going to do it? How many is that going to take? And then when is it going to start? When is it going to end? So if I add another one, that's very arbitrary, but it's a good example for this. I can add a new one for growth, which is my example one here of like read 30 books, or just, I can call it reading goal. <laughs> And then it's like read 30 books this year. When is it gonna start? It's gonna start on January 1st. It's gonna end on the next January 1st. And then from there, how am I gonna do it? I'm probably gonna read 45 minutes a day. Okay, how many? So based on what to achieve, it's 30, or you can go based off like how many minutes a day a week. So it's like, all right, how many? It's like, all right, maybe 45 minutes. Okay, that means I need to read 45 minutes a day, but that means I need to multiply this by 365. So if I take this, just quickly do a calculation on 45 times 365. I can go 16, 425. And what you can do also, if you want to, is take a how many calc for like how much it's gonna take within a year. So then you don't have to do what I just did. Now how many calc, do a formula and just take how many times the days one, start and end days. So then if you initially put in 45, you'd be like, oh wait, this is the number I really need, 16, 425. And then from there you'll see by day, how many minutes you need to read, by week, how many minutes you read and by month. And then what you can do is you can copy this, put this over here. You can even take this as an example on some sort of homepage that you'd have or view that you'd want to have for your goals, whether it be something like your daily planner or just something that you're going to be utilizing this for consistently. Make this a small view, add some covers to video, and then change this to page cover and showcase the properties in certain ways, or you can group it as well. So let's show by day, by week, and by month. So just a reminder that like, okay, this week I need to read 315 minutes, this month I need to read this many minutes, and then if you add a tracking component in with this, you'll see how far along you are in example each month to what you're trying to get to. Hopefully this gives you an idea of how you can maybe think about goals moving forward, think about what you want to achieve, how you're going to do it, and then work back from it. So then what your main focus is every single day, I need to do 45 minutes of this. Every single week, I need to do 315 of this. And if you've managed to stay on track with those things week by week, day by day, month by month, then you're going to actually achieve your goals. I like input-based goals. They help a lot when it comes to me making more YouTube videos, making more content and being more productive. And videos like this will also help you be more productive. Good luck in 2023, everyone.